Hello, hello, hello. My name is Zeep. You're watching Zeep Nation, and we're back again with more Hogwarts. Um, I'll be honest, it's been like a month since I played this last because, uh, oh, cat. Because I probably binged this for a solid, like, 12 hours straight, and then, uh, then kind of put it down for a month. So I'm not 100% sure what I was doing. Um,. Probably figure that out, huh? Learn a curse with Sebastian. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. That sounds good. This is... There we go. Curse with Sebastian... Oh, the room of requirement. Right. I want to go there instead. Never mind. Changing everything. Because uh, Professor Weasley has a has a room for me to study in. Cuz I'm I'm very uh, chosen one esque. Not tracking anything you say. Well, I'll fix that right up here. Track. Boom. Downstairs, gotcha. Nope. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Oh, because you can only find the room of requirement if you desire it. Oh. Because we have to go somewhere without prying eyes, so then we would need the room. Right. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard... I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> I just look like a freak. I love this style. I love the wizard style of like... I mean... I feel like it's just this game, but like, like just throwing on like random garments and... Mitz... Mismash, uh, boodads. This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've right. managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? You must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. To where? Vanish to where? Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. How do I... Give me a second. It's been too long since I played this game last. The T? Yeah, there we go. Do you have that one? So let's do a boom. Boom. 
That's useful. Well, I have utilities up here, right? Do I want to just move this one to utilities? I think I might. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this. I'll, um... How do I want to lay this up? You all just do all... It's just, this is, this is it. This is the way. Thinking takes too much work. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. Where did I discuss its go? Later. Let's move on. Wait, wait, where? Where in Merlin's name? Vanishes items and returns Moonstone when cast within the Room of Requirement. Where do they go? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. <laughs> Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Wonderful. I'm not exactly sure how the Room of Requirement works. I kind of feel like it's kind of like a... Was it Halloween Town where it's like... Lost things like show up in this one house, you know? Hey, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Hmm. Okay. Oop, gotta do that. Got more moonstone. Okay, so you're a thing. Oh, is that the way or is that the way? Wait, I probably shouldn't be drinking that. Yep, yep, that's just random tea. That's fine. Hmm. I got a free scarf at least. I'll take it. Oh, can't go that way? Oh. Hmm. Magic, you know. Okay, like, I, I, yeah. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. <laughs> An intruder! Stop them! No, oh, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> oh no! Uh, wait, no, there's a spell for that. Um... Ah. Repairer. No? Can I not put Humpty Dumpty back together? Oh, that's too bad. things to mess with in here. I hate that. Out of everything here, I hate that the most. Oh. Nothing there. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Maybe they don't. 
I mean, like, it's the room of requirement, right? Not, like, the room of easy-to-navigate hallways. That's a different room entirely. What was that? Oh. Oh. Was that a golden stitch? Oh. Oh. Akio, perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, where's your face now, buddy? Oh, it's it's right there. Wait. Ooh. Oh. I feel like that should work, right? Or or maybe it wouldn't because like the whole point of that thing is to be caught, so like it probably has like a charm against Accio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Wait. Ooh. Oh, you did that one. Let's go back. Oh. I see. This is a puzzle. Oh, wait. What's the... Hmm. Oh, wait. Was I just running past stuff the whole time? You. I want you. I want you to come... Hither. This is wrong, isn't it? I feel like this is wrong. That can't be right. Can I shove it back through here and then jump up there? That might be it. Right there-ish. Yeah. Can't cast spells while crouched. A little bit obnoxious. is off kilter I don't know if I'm gonna be able to shove this back in oh okay, that was it the fact that that was so difficult makes me feel like this isn't the correct solution no I mean it should work I hate when they give you a box. It doesn't quite work, you know? Like, I feel like I should just be able to, like, jump over this, right? Am I crazy? Like, it's right there. And I'm not sure if going this way is gonna lose that somehow, you know? Revelio. Yeah, I'm walking further away from it now. And I'm slowing down. Yeah, no, that is the way to go. There's secrets here. I think I missed a few things, actually, coming to look at it. How do I get over her? I feel like it has something to do with this room. Revelio. I mean, Incendio. Uh, no. Expelliarmus. Why can I go into this room? There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Can 
do that. Can I go into the chest? I can't. Well, I can't get the golden snitch, though. Yeah, I don't know. Guess I might have to come back for that. Maybe not. Maybe that's just the puzzle. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deed will come to you. <sighs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. I the customize room it. Do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, Interesting. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothes. Revelio. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Uh, you've unlocked the desk of description, and I'm about to sneeze. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified key. I do have that. I have one of those. Yes. Nothing to identify, for now at least. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. This will be more useful when I have something to identify. Wait, wait, wait. I... Thought I had... Do I not? Okay, first of all, what is this? Is that not a thing? I thought I had one piece of garment that was unidentified. Hmm. Perhaps I sold it. Okay. 
I saw nothing. Nothing to see here then. Right. Okay, but it's an option. And there's a fire flu I see. Kind. Revelio. Why does that not uh, pop off? Doesn't seem right. Hmm. And then are those just not? No, those aren't uh, collecting collectible floating books. They're just flying books. Cool. Shovels, plants. I can grow plants in here. Oh ho ho. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh. Got a little loop to loop here. That's new. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Yes. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Right, right, right. Fascinating. So let me do uh, this. Boom. Wait, can I just vanish everything in the room? Like, if I don't... Not everything. But, like, the mirror. I don't want the mirror there. Oh. The mirrors don't work anyway. Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Small scientific potion station. Botanical potion station. Electric potion station. Gothic potion station. Are these all the same but just different cosmetics? And then you have the T shape and then you have the medium. Hmm. I think I like the gothic one the most. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, can I switch it right there? I see. Rotate. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so you go in the corner. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and I can just keep on going. I can just keep on doing it. Hopping pots? Heroically brew a random potion. Oh. That's really cool. 
I wouldn't mind a random potion. Herbology. Items used to grow plants. I don't... Wait, why did it jump to that one? Hmm. I don't seem to have any of those. I suppose let's keep it with the gothic theme. Get out of my way. Is this the front? I can't really tell. I'm not sure if it matters. No, the other way feels like the front. Sure. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Cool, cool. Trophies? Cat plates. It is exactly what it sounds like. They are plates with the cats on it. Oh, that's quite adorable, though. Um, we'll, we'll come back to that one. Yeah, we'll definitely... Yeah. yeah. We'll definitely think about that one later. Carving book... Carved book stand. Hmm. Decorations, you say? Oh, no, I'm I'm good on the nights, really. I definitely don't want those in my house. I can I have diagrams, though? Oh, what is this? Okay. Interesting. I mean, ambiance, right? I don't think I need any tables necessarily. Seasonal decorations. Oh, it is Halloween. Interesting. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Right, right, right. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Interesting. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Um, I mean, uh, sh sure, yeah. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You Got can acquire it. it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. <laughs> Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I think I'm uh, probably good. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. <laughs> you can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. 
Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh, I think I... I think I kind of already looked into that. I have to conjure five wall decorations and five floor decorations. That's that's actually insane. Uh, okay. Oh, look, a rug. Oh, look. A rug. Oh, hey. A rug. Got another rug. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's a rug. Cool. That was a... Uh, Good use of my time. Oh, wall decorations, you say? Um, sure. Oh, look at all of these trees. They sure are trees. Good work. Shall we move on? We shall. I'm glad we had to do that. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your Wasn't furniture to I suit your taste. Kind of doing Let's that? get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand. Um. Boom. Any conjured item and perform the ultimate spell to customize it. Oop. Mess that one up. There. I think that's... I think that's good. Oh, it's blue, though. Did I... Did I not just do that? Change size, Z and X. Oh! Okay. Big chair. Yeah. That's what we needed here. Um, how do I change the... Uh, oh, F. I should probably read. Yeah. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try oh. these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. Interesting. I don't know, I guess... No, let's stick with gothic. You're right. Red gothic specifically. Yeah. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deep. Does it, uh... Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. There's not enough Professor Weasley ambiance sure for you? This bit of magic some years ago. Deek thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deek when you're ready. Deke, where the fuck are you? Oh. Why are you in the dark? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Gothic. Ooh. Cool moonlight ambience or focus best in a room... Dark and mysterious. I like that. I like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest. 
Surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Does it? Can we change it back? Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. I think I want to change this back, though. It's, it's too dark. You know, I feel like I, I just fall asleep while trying to study. I have a downstairs. And an attic. I have a down up. There's too much going on, man. I was fine with my, like, little cozy box. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I'm gonna use it for evil. I mean, uh, I'm uh, uh, the other one. Um, what's the? I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Let's do the moon one. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh, the other one sounded perfect. What's uh, what's going on, man? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, that does it for me. Mallow Sweet. Okay, but I have uh, Dittany. Yeah. Let's let's do that. And what can I do over here? Wiggle wield potion? I want so many of those. I want so many of those. Unfortunately, this only takes a few seconds, so I feel like I have to stay, you know? There we go. Cool. Oh, and the fire flu is back. Very nice. I could change the walls, I suppose, but like I don't think I really need to. Kinda of noisy in here. I mean, I, like, I like the pictures, but like that one is just a big version of that one. Yeah, and these two, I think, uh... Yeah, this feels right. Okay, all that moonstone. Oh, can I get rid of the book? And the book kind of stays. I mean, that those chairs kind of make sense. I'll leave. I'll leave the chairs.
Yeah, this is just free moonstone right here. I have no issue getting rid of all of the decorations. You know, can we actually, like, get rid of the hallway? Just, like, open this up and make the two rooms closer together? Because that's what I kind of want to do. I don't think that's an option, though. Can't get rid of a lot of stuff I'm seeing. Oh, I'll, I'll leave the six paintings and the six rugs. Or the five rugs. That feels uh, necessary, really. Is this a thing? Why is this like this? This isn't... Three? No, not that one. Uh, I want uh, the other one. Yeah, how can I... Oh. I do like that better. But if I change that, I would have to change every single wall in this place, and I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that's too much work. Yeah, this is fine. I can't look out these windows, can I? Nope, not in the least bit. Okay. Okay, that's... That's fine. Yeah, that's that's just going to be there now. Cool. What now? I can probably find Sebastian at this his usual spot. Yeah, let's track that. Uh, let's then I don't know, I'll probably teleport right here. Loading, loading, loading. I cannot do this for all eternity. Hold up. All those. Well, I missed that one. Uh, the music was too loud. Hello. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. The this Undercroft. Way. Yeah, right behind you. Let's go. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Revelio. Is it this thing? This big blue thing? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it Revelio. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. Is your sister I the one that was bullied? Her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. 
He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Almost daily. That's never nice. Been caught. Revelio. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His oh. wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again. Mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like oh. what? Like the blasting curse. Yes. The professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It's okay. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. It should. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be right. fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Please. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Oh. Of course it's... It's is the... Yes. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yep. Stick to the um, Confringo, a long-range bolt that deals damage on impact enemies hit with the fire-based attacks, will continue to take damage for a few seconds, during which time collisions will result in incendiary bursts. Hmm... Should I use this to overwrite my Incendio? My Incendio is leveled up though. We'll do that for now. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Confringo! Have a go at those candelabras. Oh, the. They both have their uses. The candle's right. I think you'll find nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. Power. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think well, I've got done. it. Long range fire. I'm okay with that. Yes. Yes. Work Good physics fire. engine. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm... I'm good, I'm good. Now I'm good. Let me oh. <laughs> I have to say... I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, <laughs> we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. I'm ready for more. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although... I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. 
I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Sure. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. <laughs> I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Ooh. I like him. I feel like he's gonna give me forbidden spells. So I want him on my side. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You did? You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. It does. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Yeah, I can summon I lightning. I'll send you an owl. I think I think the fact that I can summon lightning and just throw boulders at people. I can use ancient magic. That's pretty straightforward, right? What an awesome gate. I want one of those in my house. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? <laughs> How did you get in there? I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Yikes. Uh, they're both the, kind of the same here. I promise not to say anything. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian Fair is enough. going to get an earful about this. My camera's on the wrong side, isn't it? Let me uh, do a little thing. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Ooh. There we go.
There was a fighter thing up here, wasn't there? Am I crazy? Are you crazy? Was it somewhere completely else? It might it might be. I thought there was something I could shoot fire at. That was just kind of right out of range for the other spell. Hmm. Perhaps not. I would like to teach you Wingardium Confringo! to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Okay. Ooh, what's in here? Revelio. Oh, I want you. Revelio. Have I not explored over here? This kind of looks new. Where are you? Confringo. Ho ho ho. I. Cut. Very nice. Oh, I can uh, Legardio Leviosa this. Leviosa. Revelio. I have no idea where I am right now. I'll be honest. And that's okay. This game rewards you so heavily for just open exploration. And I think that's why I love it so much. I mean, I do love uh, open world games like this. Uh, like, I absolutely loved uh, like the recent two Zelda games. Hello. Hello, reward for exploration. Like, I love the last two Zelda games because they're so open world, but this, I'm willing to say this feels better. Brilliant. Cool. I like stuff. And this game gives me a lot of stuff. Revelio. Oh, are there Dementors in this game? Can I pick my Patronus? Oh. I don't know what my Patronus would be. A dragon. That doesn't sound right. No. That has to be something friendly, right? Oh. Oop. There we go. Maybe a rabbit. People have a rabbit's as Patroni? Probably, right? Something cute and fluffy and uh, probably non-demonic. Uh, non yeah. This feels like a dead end. Because it is, right. Oh, there's another levitation thing. Oh, that one. Revelio. There's a chest in here. Oh. Interesting. How I miss so many. Where are you going, buddy? Where are we going? Wow, there's just so much stuff here. Wonderful. Locked. I still don't know how to uh, unlock stuff. Revelio. 
Oh, well, I'll check that out later. Okay, so there's a chest right there that I can't get to. I can maybe get to that one. Wait, is that the next quest? I just accidentally stumbled upon the right room? Oh, that's fun. Yeah, let's go back here. Alright guys, I just slept here. What's up? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Wisby's? Um, I can't wait. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisby's is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on Potion's class for a while, not for my own bruise. Insane. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. Uh... Right up my street, yeah. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Yes, it is stealing. I'll give it a try. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I don't know if I want to be the first one to try that. That sounds like a terrible idea. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. I mean, I love it, but a like... A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Where are you? Is that Hogwarts? Oh, oh. Rebellion. I don't know. I didn't think to do that. The Hogwarts architect. Oh, it is. The Hogwarts architect shown here surrounded by the four house mascots designed and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts Castle alongside founder Rowena Ravenclaw, who is credit credited for with creating its ever changing floor plan. Neat. There's a key around here somewhere. Oh. Okay. So, this is one, right? So, four. Um, and then that thing. So, zero, one, two, five, six. And then that's zero. So, that's seal looking thing right there. Um, five, six. I need 11, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so that's 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five-legged crab thing. Revelio. Where you at? Is it right there? That seems kind of far away. No, that's for that one. Yeah. Oh! Oh! I'm back here! Look at that! Okay. So, up the stairs, perhaps? My Revelio works from a decent range away. This looks like the right statue. Give me a second. I'm what was the password? Doing something else. Don't have time for that.
Was it right here? Oh, I think that's too high up now. Revelio. Is that it? It must be down. Yeah. Wait a second. How do I get down? Confringo. No? Okay. Alright. Revelio. There we are. Five legged crab. And open. Beautiful. Oh. Horrific. House standing banners, okay. I mean, it's something, I suppose. Um. There's some stuff over here, too. Rebellion. Honeyduke's Passageway. Hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeyduke's. It can only be accessed using a particular charm. Neat. Cool. Oh, new cat. It's necessary. It's the, uh, it's the cross we have to bury, you know? Rebellion. Locked? Yeah. Where? Oh, I'm getting turned around so easily here. No, it wasn't through there. I think it was over here, perhaps? Why do I get so turned around in this castle? Okay, well... Rebellion. Then I see some stuff that I have to read, so. Wait, that's the thing. Up there. No, not that. Wait, what do we have here? House point hourglasses. These large ornate hourglasses containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds are enchanted to keep count of house points for Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, respectively. Alright, we all suck. Oh. Alright then. Alright then. Expelliarmus! Hmm. Well... Guess I'll have to fix that one. Revelio. No, that's over Hello here. Again. Were you able to get the Honeydukes? Oh, yeah, I'm working on it. I'll find that guy later, I'm not too worried. Oh, hello, Key. Hey, where are we going? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, going. Cool. Getting pretty good at that. Revelio. 
What's up? Interesting. Hmm. You like how I uh, was definitely going on a quest and then got terribly, terribly sidetracked? Yeah, it's my superpower. So much stuff to find. How can I not get lost, you know? Like a... Oh, a locked chest. I actually hate that. I don't... Not sure what that is. That's fine. I do want to check out the food room, though. I mean, I... Cafeteria? Yeah. Oh! You're gonna tell me about the lights, Rebellion. aren't you? The candles, how they're not actual candles, they're just like enchantments. The Great Hall ceiling. The ceiling of the Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. Right, that. Because it's overcast outside. Fire? Oh, I just burned a suit in alive. That's fine. Rebellion. Owl Lectern. This enchanted lectern serves as the spot from which the great headmasteress and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, address the school. Neat. Ooh. Coin. I've tried this one. Just gotta keep on trying, you know? Like, they're gonna add one that actually does something. Okay, hello. Seven. Squiggly lady, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, give me a second. So, 24 minus nine. Minus seven, so that's eight. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spider, so question mark one is spider. Cool. And then we got what, 14 minus 11, and then walrus, so then minus zero. That's nice, so three, so zero, one, two, three. And we have Hydra. I think that's a Hydra. Yeah, that should work. Very nice. Crimson overcoat. Hmm. Revelio. That all? Yeah. Bummer. Yeah, continue on that mission I was just on. May as well, I suppose. Oh, not that. Lumos. All right, then give me a second. Oh, there you are. I think I didn't see you earlier. Insane. Oh, is that lamb? Like a rib of lamb and bread and oh, that looks so good. I wish I went to Hogwarts. Cool. Thought I bugged that out for a second. Rebellion. Oh. All right, now, where am I going? Not that way. I got so distracted so fast. Absolute insanity. Hey, you. Do the thing. Descendium.
Revelio. Oh, that's a big thing. Why are these torches lit? Why is that one not lit? Revelio. Nothing. No secret. Oh, they just a lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Broken. I can fix her. Repairer. Hmm. Neat. That seems to have done the trick. Revelio. There wasn't. <gasps> there was. Hmm. Could be better. I feel like stairs would have sufficed. I don't feel like they did a whole lot for me. Ooh, another chest. This castle will never cease to surprise me. I know, right? So many fun things just hidden in like broad daylight here. Revelio. Let's see, I see that chest that I want. Oh, are we doing spider webs again? Clearly, I have to put a box in the thing. Confringo. Or do I levitate? Yeah. There we go. Rebellion. I'm going to have to get past this. What is that? Just a frog? Okay. Yeah. Let me cool, cool, cool. Right, let me uh let me fix this. And then I could probably uh let me go so. Beautiful. Rebellion. Confirm. Rebellion. Let's see, you got another thing to fix. Is that I guess that's nothing, huh? Get across. No, why? Wait, why? Why did I do that? That wasn't the plan at all. Um, can I get back up, please? I'm not sure what I'm doing now. Cool. Rebellion. There do seem to be chests down there, though. Wait, did I have to jump down? Nah. Probably come across them later, I'm sure. Let's go around here. Up here. And then jump here. Wonderful. Let me open. Something is getting in the way of that platform. 
Simple enough. Aha, got it. Revelio. This must be the way out. But this must be a I secret chest. A open that gate. Um, get off the rock. There we go. Come on. Up. Up. Oh, this does the fighter stuff. Right. Right, that one. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey jukes. I hope so. Revelio. Now that I just pilfered their dungeon, or their their basement. Honey juice. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Revelio. I mean, I'm not really sure, but if it's uh, not locked down or bolted, I'm going to steal it. I mean, uh, borrow it. Without asking. I have the dried billywigs things. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Why could I do Rebellion. that? Why was that necessary? Is this my first time in Honey Dukes? I think it actually might be. Huh. Where are you? Oh, nope. I've been here before. I think. Revelio. Ah, oh, just eat everything. Yes, yes, very well. What are you? Never knew butterflies were attracted to treasure. I must have missed that one in beasts. There's a chest up there. Can I get up? I don't know if I can or not. Well, I got the billy wugs. I guess I'll, I, I can take the long way back. Rebellion. I have no issue with that. So I'm sure I'll find a few things on the way. Like that chest right there. Unidentified back item. Wonderful. No, that's good. That's real good. You know, I have quite a bit of things. I should probably start selling them off. Revelio. What's in here? Nothing? Not having a door, you say? Okay. A uh, painted wall to resemble a door. Gotcha. That sounded close. Your slots are full. Wonderful. Yeah, that's exactly what I was kind of worried about. 
So apparently, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, apparently there's a bug where um, if you open up a uh, like a chest or something, like you'll get like a bug of like, oh, your gear slots are full and then you remove some gear by like selling it or whatnot and you just can't like reopen up the chest. So I don't know if that's patched. That was like from like a year ago. We'll see. We'll see. Neat. I can sell stuff here. Yeah. How is standing behind Hello there. Please uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. No, I'm good, thank you. Uh, so that. Um, and that. That. And then that should... That is an unidentified back item. Yeah, why wasn't I able to... discover that earlier? I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. I sure do. Hmm... I can't even select it. So I can destroy that, but I can't do anything with that. So, hear me out. What if... Stop by whenever bows. Hey, I want to take this thing. And I want to sell it. That was fun. I um, you have a sharp eye for fashion. Hey, what do you have to, Be sure to, stop by to buy? You are about. No, it's just deleted now? Okay. That's fine, too. I want that. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. And uh, want that. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. These are the same. But that's ugly. Okay, that's good. Oh, beautiful. Stylish even. Two extra points. Four extra points. Ooh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's real nice. So whenever you're about. Uh, get rid of that, and that, definitely that, and that as well. Wonderful. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Oh, Be sure look at to me. stop by whenever you're about. Rebellion. Don't be afraid to fail. Now five seconds ago, I was over. I was over here. Yeah. Was it this? Yes, this feels right. Oh, good, more stuff to sell. Rebellion. And there's something right over here. That's, that's inside for sure. Or is it? Is it? That might be outside. Ugh. Ugh. 
can't hop a fence. Cool. Revelio. That is in the alleyway, I believe, though. Oh, look at that. Oh, whatever will I do? Cool. Not bad. I'll take 500 coins. Um, this guy. Another 500. Revelio. Hmm. Kind of a bummer when you find everything, though. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll start heading back then. down there. Must be another chest up there as well. Oh! And a page! How could I miss a page? Accio! Revelio! Accio! Come on. Is that too far away? Ah, these pages sometimes. You know that does that does collections. Does that actually uh What does that do exactly? Because I know that I have a couple of them. Field guide pages. Collect two field guide pages and hogs made complete. Gear appearance reward. Oh, I get cosmetics. I mean, none of these are really like sticking out for me. But like, I have them, right? So, like, May as well just uh, claim them. Yeah. Oh, these. Inventory expansion? Increased storage for gear. Oh. Oh, that's huge. And that's for the Merlin trials. Oh, I haven't been doing that. I have to do every single Merlin trial now. Oh. Like, legitimately, that's actually pretty huge. Combat. Okay. Defeat 40 Dark Wizards. Oh. Amphibian Protection 2 and 1. Goblin Silver Resistance. Interesting. Gear Trait Recipe Reward. Oh, I could just have Armor too. Anti-Venom. Anti-Venom 2. Oh, this is actually really, really cool.
Yeah. Let's uh make sure to keep on checking these off. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can Rebellion. I'm okay with that. Immensely. I don't know how much my gear slot just got increased by, but like even by a couple would be okay with me. I do like how I like I whisper the spell when I'm hidden. That's pretty cool. That's a Merlin trial. Oh, but I don't have the stuff for it though, do I? Right. Yeah, I can't even do it anyway. I want my broom. Protego. Oh. How do I get to my broom? Oh no. Oh, not that. Wait, what did I just find? Merlin trial. Right. Yeah. And over here, I thought I found something cool. It's not alt. Not control. Oh, just lost a plant. Protego. Rebellion. T is for spells. F is something else. I'm sure. Oh, there we go. Interesting. I'll just keep on going back. Yeah. Have I walked on this bridge yet? I'm not sure what this is. Leave? Uh, descend, descend. Hold B. I don't like that. Cool. Where are you? Alright. Well, you, are you also going to vanish? Sure are. Boathouse. Confirm. Rebellion. Hmm. Doesn't look like much else of interest here. What are you? Black Lake. The Black Lake or Great Lake. The sitting headsman vainly prefers the prior. Is an expanse of fresh water south of the castle. The lake's murky depths are home to Murph people, Grindelwalds, and other magical aquatic beasts and beings, including the giant squid, a surprisingly friendly uh, cephalopod with a fondness for toast. Revelio. Hmm. Neat. Up, please. Well, I'm here. I may as well uh, walk these stairs since I haven't before. You gotta do everything once, at least, right? Is that insane? Is that an insane uh, stance to take here? 
Rebellion. Feels like something. Maybe not. Want more puzzles though. I mean, I know I'm not that far into the game yet, which is insane. I put I feel like I put a lot of hours into the game already. But there's so much more to find. I love it. Rebellion. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. That's a bad idea, but okay. Wonderful. Again for finding my gobstones. I never could have done it myself. You're right. I'm awesome. That's a fair assumption. Uh, where am I going? I thought I saw points of interest over yonder. Do not show it. Oh, you have to move away from Hogwarts enough to see them. Are those side quests that I'm seeing right here? They must be. It would be cool if I could see, like, the train come in. Revelio. There's a lot of free stuff here. Oh, I didn't need to go invisible for that one, did I? More unidentified stuff. So that's going to force me to go back to the, the hall of, um... That's going to force me to go back to the hall of, uh, acquirement. Because if I don't, it could be really cool stuff that I could just never get rid of. Don't mind me as I loot your entire town. Ornamental stands. Okay. Rebellio. Solar protective goggles. Oh, sounds a lot like sunglasses. Through teal blue. Neat. Oh, on, dear. This hamlet is simply Revelio. What are you? Spider parts. Awesome. It seems someone has been collecting acromantula parts for profit. Lucrative, perhaps. If one is willing to risk one's life to obtain the required inventory. You don't say. Is there something I can help you with, Mr. Adley? Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Mm -hmm. Had I had known he wanted to procure venom from a living acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. Yeah, I think he deserved it. No, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. 
Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, Milo's name for the acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> in fact, as he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... I fled. Uh, why do you want the venom? Why would someone risk their life for spider venom? As a potion ingredient, acromantula venom is incredibly valuable. In large part because it is, as Paul Milo has proven, impossible to get from a live acromantula. Did he try to milk a living one? That sounds like a if bad I have idea. Time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. All right. Revelio. I'm gonna go kill a giant spider. Where could that acromantula cave be? Good thing I got more inventory space because all of a sudden I'm using all my inventory space. That's leading me to the acu acumantula, correct? Absconder encounter. Okay. Yeah, let's do that super quick then. There we go. A little bit faster. It seems wild it's that far away. I'm starting to wonder if I'm going the right direction. I mean, at least I have a broom, right? Everything seems a lot faster with the broom. Oh, this is Hogsmeade. Right. Restricted airspace. Oh. Rebellion. Are you a thing? You are not. Okay. Oh, chickens. Cool, got one. This feels like the wrong way to go. Revelio. Can't get that, that's locked. Ugh. What is this, the Weasley House? Looks like it's only being held together with magic. Ooh, unidentified face item. Revelio. Watch yourself though. Let's have you leave. Lumos. You did away with all those dark wizards? Oh, I can't believe it. You're a force to be reckoned with. Rebellion. Scaring all the goblins away. She's trying to talk to me. I'm just like stealing her stuff. The dogweed and death cap tree. This large tree with wingding branches supports the sh shop dogweed and death cap. Winding. Did I just say wingding? Such a wee bairn and a thrash Ooh, I want that. I believe it. Do you stop talking to me when I'm invisible? I think she does. Wait, I want... I want that. Uh, do you have roof access? Oh my god, shut up. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. 
Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> Mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead, and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. An uprooting. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Okay. She's a little crazy. Fertilizer. Cabbage, mandrake. Tentacula seed. Mandrake. I suppose I could splurge a little bit. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Thank you. I appreciate it. But your things will be safe with me until they're sold. Then you'll have to make do with money. Here, let me just uh fence all of my stolen wares uh, real quick. Don't mind me. Always open. You be sure to stop by. Oh, not that one. Um, yeah, that. Ah, gross. Where is that one? No. Yeah. An iconic look, really. Oh, well, it was beautiful. What say we show you some of what's available? Neat. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Okay, how do I, uh. Revelio. How do I go up, though? Come on, little billy goat child. Go. There we go. You go up a little bit more. Oh. I'll leave, and I'll never come back. Cool. Oh, and look what we found here. Lumos. Oh. Lumos. Lumos. Come back. There we go. Now let's uh, not fall. And I'll break concentration. Come on in, come on in. Oh, not so fast. You need to tread carefully in here. Venomous tentacula. Neat. What was I doing? Revelio. This entire building just completely derailed me. Um I believe I'm walking. Ugh, and another page yet too. Rebellion. You, uh, do you hear evil whispers a second ago? I still can't fly. Okay. Bummer. Would make this a little bit easier. Especially since I can't seem to, um, climb rocks as well as I would like to. Revelio.
still not sure what those balloons are for. I would imagine that it's some sort of maybe like a timed trial for uh, your broom. back shoot oh there we go now what are you trial could it be could it be the things i've been doing yeah of course it's a merlin trial so okay so there are spiders here so clearly we're on the right track revelio Oh, oh. Ah, I should have broken my bones. Oh, a little bit rusty. But we're doing just fine, it looks like. That curiosity young people Oh, bandits. Right, yeah. I suppose we could take care of those guys as well. I'm not sure what that is. It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. But these bandits, these poor bandits, they they want death. And who am I to deny them of such a pleasure? Not very nice of you. Oop, don't do that. Oh. Oh, did I die? How did I manage that one? There's all thumbs in that one, I suppose. Oh, well, at least the checkpoint's pretty close by. I want to go there. To poach in Aranger, oh. except spiders. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Legs are far too brittle. Akio. That will be far. No, I know other stuff. Like this. Yeah, I know stuff. Oh. The beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. Revelio. Uh, I am just a menace. Truly am terrifying. Ooh, get some flies. Yes, yes, very nice. You see, that doesn't do enough damage. 
Like, I feel like that should break my leg, right? Am I insane? Oop. But that killed me? But that killed me. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like uh, fall damage is a little uh, messed up here. I feel like it's uh, a little bit picky. Am I? Cool. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <sighs> die, die, die. Come back. I want to be the Half-Blood Prince. Come back. I want to be the Half-Blood Prince. I don't think it's going to let me drink the blood of a unicorn. Ah. <sighs> Disappointment, you know? Oop. Is this dude, uh, perhaps still alive? Spiders, uh, dislike fire. That's fire. Right. <laughs> Yuck. Did I just shrink him? Neat. Now, where am I, uh, where am I going here? I'm looking for a corpse, right? Maybe that's the whole point of this. Revelio. The cave must be somewhere in this maze. I wonder what else is in here. Spiders, probably. And a uh, deer. Can be done now if you want. Revelio. Revelio. 
Oh, I hate the crawlers. Revelio. Should go kill the eggs since I'm here. Still not much of anything, really. Okay. No, better glasses. That's pretty cool. Health? I don't take it. Could be more, but you know. Something. This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. Confringo! Oh. I see. Oh. Oh. Awful, 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 awful. That just one tapped me. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. How do I fight that this thing? The infamous absconder. Okay, full pause. Um, fighter. Yeah. That's all I got. Okay, well, those don't do a whole lot of anything. Oh. Wait, why? 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 Did I just fat thumb it twice? I think I might have done that. I'm trying to dodge. <laughs> so this is the infamous absconder. Okay, yeah, we see the infamous absconder. We're gonna be reminded of him. There. Oh god. He leap. I. F I. I feel like there was more distance between us. This is the infamous absconder. And then there wasn't. Yep, that's not how rocks do. Oh no! Oh no! Let's not do that. What if I'm on the rock? Oh, you know how rocks work. Well, I'm gonna end it here because this is insane. Um, they... <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, as usual. Um, and yeah, if you want to give me money, I have a Patreon. Uh, link is down below, as always. And I'll see you next one. Have a good day.